parking spot out here. In front of the, my folks' house. For when I'm not out adventuring. Ah, there's Luna Van chilling. We got this nice tree. Kicking on there. Sugar maple. Got the love banner flying. These just came up. But I wanted to bring my camera out. So my mom's Hawaiian lay flowers. Just starting up here. Or all of the three award winning ones right here. Little tomato action greenhouse. We've got some seedlings. trailer. Been stored in the barn for five years. 15 footer. Did some cool like b-roll shots. Chains dropping. Ran the wire all the way through. Snow co. Nebraska, USA. Actually, I wonder what model date this is. Actually, it folds in half right here. This pin, pull the pin, this folds down from the neck here. So actually, the whole trailer folds right in half for like storage, which is pretty awesome. Date of manufacture, 870. Figured out what the problem was with the lights. It was the ground. Connector down here with this wing. The light connects right here to the trailer. Ah, I was not getting a good conduction point with the paint and the rust. So that, I just ran a ground all the way up to the front ground wire and boom. 
Lights. Lights, camera, action. Hey yo, how you doing? How you doing, huh? You jamming? fish caught in the old town. Woo. Super stoked. Get her on that trailer. 20, it was a brand new model when I bought it in 2017. I used it for one year, padded seats. Woo-wee. Oh man, alive. Super stoked. We get the old town on the water. Maybe this afternoon? Oh, who knows? Oh, maybe this week though. By the weekend, for sure. Oh, baby. Old town. 14 footer. Got that when Gander Mountain was uh, going out of business. Thanks, Gander. I saved. I'm not even gonna tell you. It's an extraordinary deal on that thing. Woo! This took pretty much all the energy I had to get this little square nut turned off. Oh, there. They've been rusted on there for so long, but. Those hold the bunk boards up. I got them turned sideways so I can run my boards uh, long ways or sideways to catch my canoe. Ah, yeah. Whew. Oh, I just went to my local apes. Got some fasteners, a couple of those. They didn't have an extra. I was going to get a couple extra little uh, bumper brackets for the front up in here for a little more extra support on the neck, but they didn't have them. And I snapped the bolt <laughs> when I was going off. I don't know my own strength. Snapped the end right off. So I got a new one for that, a new two by four for the bunk boards. Ah, oh, it's a great deal. And it folds in half right here. I haven't seen a trailer like that. You pull that pin and the hinge and the neck and the body fold together. Snowco. <laughs> Beautiful. It's all about humanity. Four feet. So, glad I got the eight footer. Okay. Three and a half, four. Thank you. 
very much. Four with the width of the blade. A little bit. Yeah. Perfecto. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Onto this guy. Oh yeah. Craftsman action. Oh yeah. Yeah. Alright. Back up on fucking summer. Alright, my hair is always falling. Doing this. Broke some wood, no worries. Got my holes marked out. I'm gonna clamp these in place just for safety. And uh, I did get new bolts. The bolts that were in here were super rusty. So those are trash. Plus I snapped the, snapped the uh, bolt nut off of one of them. Too strong for it, I guess. So I got that replaced, that's right here. So, and then that, I'm just going to bracket these down and drill through my holes. Tighten that in the vise. That is bullshit upon bullshit. I'm sorry. This is the part where I'm just pissed off because working on it with one hand is a pain. Well, drop the gimbal, drop the GoPro. Holes need to be a little bit bigger. Working on stuff. Come on, baby. You 
looking for it. Back to the vice, back to the drill bits, back to the pain in my ass. Step for an adventure on the water. Love it. Yeah. Do a little cut action. Cut scene. I did just take this roller off, the boat roller, so uh, saw me cut a few of these, little brace pieces here. Uh, let's get these on here. Use the old, I'm gonna reuse the bolts, so, and then I can put another mounting. Um, oh, really? Really did, huh? Okay, well. Alright. No worries. Oh, there it is. Come on, baby. Ah, yeah. Nice. Nice. Washer on there. No, so I'll get both of these up on here. And then I'll probably end up putting a one more, like a two by four across. I think that'll take up the distance or the separation between this bunker, this bumper and those ones. So then I can have three, because it's a 14 foot trailer, the nose of my trailer or my canoe is gonna go past here. So um, I just saw this and I was like, ooh, I wonder if that'll come off of there. And it did. Oh yeah, nice. Alright, let's get to it. Physical therapy. Ah, yeah, okay. Whew. Not moving. That's for sure. Hey. Next. Oh, 
That's gonna be difficult. Boom. From mount on back mounts, bumpers, bolted around there, reinforced, line these all up good, and uh, we'll be good to go for canoeing. Woo! Old Town Adventures. Cool off a little bit. Made a little progress on the tomatoes here. There's some cages around these beauties. Got some tomatoes on some of them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Got the lid off. A lot of the gear put away. I got the foam right here. Just waiting to get put on. The clamps. Out the way. So. I'm talking about with one hand. I can only do so much with one hand. This is what I got done earlier. I think I went over it before I went in. And actually, I'm pretty sure that I did. So, yeah, this foam's going on there. Gonna cover it. I'm gonna use a little Gorilla Glue. And got another piece for over here. Secured it down in the center. So, I mean, it's definitely not going anywhere. I wouldn't sit on the sides or nothing, but it's uh, it's secure. So that's good. I just realized I don't have any wood glue. <laughs> I was gonna use Gorilla Glue to glue these down. These are my foam. They're made for heavy weights, so they bend. Uh, but they work with good for canoe racks. I know that for sure already. I already built one. Uh, I'm gonna glue it down uh, and then clamp it down with these. I have two more, but no glue and ace closed, so. I'm gonna have to pick it up in the morning. Ah. Other than that, yeah, it was a long day. This video is gonna be short, but it's like almost seven o'clock now. I got stopped at about 3.30. Uh, my brother came out and helped me get this mounted in here because mounting the screws and ratcheting them together in such a tight little space right here. Actually, I'll show you was just kind of a pain so he helped me with that uh, and mounting these other brackets up underneath there he helped me do that you know it's hard with one hand i i got frustrated about it this afternoon i kind of you know it's i mean that's me after years of it so it's like ah, even holding this i just got to be careful every little move you gotta be careful but they're on there it's secure. This is for the front. I reused the bolts that I replaced, so uh, that is good. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, she's looking nice. We are uh, ready to get the canoe on her and get it to the water. It's got a permanent registration, only the tag, no nothing. Good to go. So, that is where I'm going to leave you. I hope you all had a wonderful day, a productive day. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy. Get those gardens going. Ooh, snow peas already. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick those right there. There's a little snack. That's gonna be delicious.